Welcome to Mike's Man Cave and today we have another unboxing. Now this might not be exciting for some people and it might be very exciting for others. This is a brand new fry pan. It's from Solid Technics and it's an Australian based company and these fry pans are manufactured from one piece of wrought iron in Sydney in Australia. And I've ordered this online and it's arrived today. Now this fry pan is what they call the 26 centimetre raw Oz iron fry pan. So let's get it out the box and have a look at what we've actually bought. Now I'm not using a stand, I'm just filming this using my iPhone. So um, it'll be, might be a little bit awkward in the one handedness. That went easier as so I thought. Paper. Right, here we go. Okay, you get the first glimpse of our fry pan there. It's got the Australia map cut out of the handle. And you can see it's just bare steel. Wrought iron, actually, they call this. So let's get the paper off and see what we've got. Here we go, that's it. The whole fry pan is forged from one piece of steel. As you can see, it's got an extra long handle which is not supposed to get hot. So that will be interesting to see if that actually works. It's 26 centimetres, it's beautifully shaped by the look of that. And it's got a logo on the bottom here, again, a little map of Australia. Now on the bottom of the handle here, it says Raw Edition, December 2018. So 2018, December is when this pan was actually made. If you were lucky enough to order one of the very first ones of these made, it would say First Edition on here. So um, this is a December 2018 model. And these have what is called the Multi-Generational Guarantee. So these things are basically guaranteed forever, okay? You're supposed to buy these and pass them down the line to your kids and grandkids to be used. So overall, just looking at this fry pan, I'm very, very happy with what I've bought. These aren't cheap, but then again, considering the throwaway fry pans, they're not that expensive either. This was $128 to buy, and some people might say that's expensive, but considering that it should hopefully last me the rest of my life, that's not a bad deal, to be honest. I'll just show you what this is to replace. So if we go over here to our stovetop, this is our disposable fry pan. That is about three months old, and the um, lining or the non-stick coating is about to burn off as you can see there and we generally buy one of these every three to six months and use it and then throw it away. It literally lives on our stove top because we use it daily. Meat, pork chops, all sorts of stuff. Okay, This gets used every single day at least once or twice a day. And this one is just about to fail. You can see how it's scratched and damaged from use which is, you know, it's very hard to stop that from happening. And then there's also the concerns of what this coating does to your health. Um, I'm no expert, I haven't looked into it too much. But there's some studies out there that suggest that all this stuff here, that non-stick surface, is not really good for you in the long term. I've been using these sort of fry pants all my life and I've probably gone through about 20 of these in my lifetime, maybe even more. So, you know, these costing about $30 each, each time, times 10 would be 300. I've gone through way more than 10 of these. So I've probably spent five or $600 on fry pans over the years. And so I shouldn't really complain about the price of the new one that I've just bought. Now, before I finish off this video, I'd just like to point out that this has some sort of waxy coating on it. You can see it just there. It's actually 
you can actually peel that off there and it's actually got wax on it. Now that wax is there to stop this from rusting while it's in storage. So after they make these, they dip them in some sort of wax or they've got some sort of process obviously to stop these from rusting because they are bare raw steel. So they will rust if left untreated. So what I'm going to be doing in my next video, I'm going to be stripping off this wax. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we will need to season the fry pan so that it won't rust. And now, like I said, this fry pan will literally be living on our stove top. So it'll be used every single day. So we'll have some updates on this fry pan in upcoming videos. Okay, I'll show you how to strip the wax coating off and I will also show you how to season one of these fry pans. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions in relation to this fry pan, please leave a comment down below. I respond to all comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.